Okay, class. Um, this is a working backwards um heuristics question. So today we're going to learn how to identify first whether the question is a heuristic question. Uh, what kind of heuristic question it is? All right. How come is it working backwards? And also I'll show you how to solve this question. So first, when you look at this question, of course, he says that Ismail thought of a number, so he doubled it. Then he added. He doubled it. Then he added twenty-seven to it. And his answer was 87. All right. Then they ask you what was the number that email Ismail thought of. Okay. So how come this is a working backwards question? You can see eventually you know the answer is 87. So you start to know that finally when you get the answer is 87. Okay. So working backwards means that you know the answer in the end. And then what you need to do is you work backwards. Okay, so before this is this little clue here. See, he added 27. So before that, you know this number that you do not know. If you add 27, it gives you 87. All right, so in working backwards, so you will know the one before, all right, is this question mark. All right, this number one question mark. We'll just put here number one question mark is one step before so when he add it, it uh, 27 it give you 87 so you take 87 and you minus off the 27 all right so the first question mark actually is 16 okay this is called working backwards so i'm moving backwards right now from the answer okay then you go one more step back so the second question mark is he says that he double it so that means the second question mark is I double this second question mark and it gives me 60. All right. So in order to get the second question mark, which is the number that is my actually thought of. So what I need to do is I work backwards. So the second question mark. Okay. Must be equals to. Let me get the dot in. Yes. Okay. So it's 60 divided by 2. So because you times, then you get 60. So when you work backwards, you must divide by 2. So the answer is 30. So the answer of the, the number that Ismail is thinking of, sorry, is 30. All right. For question 3, it's almost the same as question 1. It's a working backwards question. So first, let's see what we have. He says that there were 75 beads in three boxes A, B, C all together. All right. Then he says that if you move 12 beads from A to B, and then again, eight, move eight beats from B to C. <coughs> so in the end, <coughs> move three beats from C to A. <coughs> then in the end, there will be an equal number of beats in each of the boxes. All right? So what you need to do, all right, to make things clear, first, you create three columns, A, B, C. All right? So because why we know it's a working backwards question, because the last thing we do know, he says that in the end, they have equal beats. All right. So equal beats means that because this, when for this question, because when we move the beats internally, all right, from A, A to B, then B to C, then C to A, the total amount of beats actually didn't change. So it remains in the end, in the end, uh, it remains the total as 75 okay all right so the beats in the end and the beats at the beginning all right where it didn't change it still remains the same because the beats is just transfer internally all right so this is the internal transfer so because of that you know in the end because it says that the beats remains the same all right so therefore you need to take 75 all right, you need to take 75, divide by 3 to know what's each of this in the end. All right, so if I do a little working here, 75, I divide by 3, so it's 2, 6, 1, I take down the 5, then of course I have 5 here, 15 minus 0. All right, so I know in the end each of them has 25 beads. Okay, that's where I'm going to start. Okay, so working backwards right now. So you see that the first one that is before they become 25 each, they say that they then move three beats from C to A. 
All right, so when they move three seats, three bits from C to A, means that this 25 in A have the three bits from C. So I move the first one step before. All right, so just now in the beginning, I call the first question mark. So this is the first question mark here. So therefore, this A consists of three of the bits that C has. So I'm going to give it back. All right, move backwards. So 25. I will minus 3, then here at C, I will 25, I will receive, will receive the 3 back, okay? So, before this, so C will have 28, alright? A will have 22, okay? And B still remain as 25, because nothing changed for B, alright? So, next thing we're going to go to, since we move the first question mark already, we're going to move back a second step here. He says that over here, they say they move 8 bits from B to C. So 8 bits, this number 2, from B to C. So this is the second question mark. Alright? So 8 bits from B to C. Alright? So that means this C will consist of the 8 bits. C in this 28 will consist of 8 bits that B have previously. So, in order to move the second question mark backwards, okay, I have to take 28 away from C because this 8 actually was given from B. So, if I take it away, I must add back to B, which originally belongs to B. Alright? So, I will have, C will have 20, alright, during the second question mark. So, B, uh, sorry, C will have 20, B will have 25 plus 8, which gives you 33, and A, no change at this time, 22. All right, let me extend the box a little bit so that we can look at the beginning. All right, so the beginning, so you move to the last one, which is the beginning now, all right? So the third question mark here, they say they move 12 bits from A to B. So 12 bits move from A to B. All right, if 12 bits move from A to B, that means this 33 here consists of the 12 that received from A. So if I want to go to the beginning, I must take the 33. I must take out the 12, and which this 12 belongs to A. So 22 and I add back the 12, which is the beginning. So A right now has 34. B will have 33 minus 12 gives you 21. Okay. C will have. 20. Alright? So before I end, I need to check because just as I mentioned, the beginning is 75 and the end also must have 75. So let me check whether the end here is 75. So I have 34 plus 21 plus 20. Okay? So that means 34 plus 21 will give me a 55. Then I have plus a 20. And it's a 75. So the answer and the question first is how many bits are there in B? So that means in the beginning B. Alright? How do I know this is the beginning? Because they use a if. If means that it didn't happen, it's just imagining. So in the beginning, then what B has is actually 21. So the answer when working backwards and there's an internal transfer here. Okay, the answer is 21.